Hello. Hello. You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? No, actually, you are misrepresenting Jesus. Actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about uh, Jesus. Do, do you know who is Jesus? Yeah. He who, was is, a who, is, who is Jesus? He, Jesus was a prophet. Jesus was an Abdul servant of Allah. Ah, Abdul. Okay. Well, can you show me the name of Jesus in the Quran? No, he is Isa ibn Maryam. Okay. Yeah. So how in the Quran he called him Isa? Who is Isa? Isa was a prophet. Okay, but, but, uh, but the one we have, his name is Yeshua. How, how Yeshua became Isa? Yeshua is the Hebrew term. Okay, so this is Arabic name you mean? Isa means the salvation. So Isa means the salvation. So you are saying to me that the Quran is saying that Jesus is the salvation. Yeah, Allah is using him so, to bring so, salvation. So, okay, so how Jesus is the salvation? He is the salvation. He is not. Just, he is the salvation. That's what you say to me. Hello. Hello. Are Hello? you there? Yeah. So you say that Isa is the salvation. How is that? Yeah, I was saying that Isa was the salvation only for Jews because mm. if you read Isaiah 53, God mm. said that uh, for salvation of my people, he will die. Mm. And in Isaiah 52, okay, oh, hold, hold, hold on, he will, he will die, he will die, he will die. Yeah, okay, so does the Quran say that Jesus died? The Quran says that they. Did not kill him. Hmm. Jews didn't kill Jesus. Just, the, the Jews Allah, did not kill Jesus. Okay, what happened to Jesus? Allah killed Jesus, and Allah deceived the Jews. Allah and deceived then, the Jews. Okay. So, did Allah deceive the Jews or deceive the Christians? Christians were deceived by devil, Satan. But you are the one who said to me that Allah he deceived the Jews. At that time, all the Jews, all the Christians are Jews. Yeah, just like Allah. Deceived Pharaoh. Okay. Allah deceived the Jews. How how Allah deceived Pharaoh? How Allah deceived Pharaoh? Like is splitting the. But this is not this, this is not, this is not deception. This is a miracle. What this even? Hey, hey, let's focus on Jesus now. So Allah He made the Jews think that they killed Jesus. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you are the Jews one who used, and, and you are the one who used uh, the word deceived. But as you see. Uh, uh, Allah he waited 600 years to tell us that the one who died in the cross it was not Jesus and you are the one who you Allah never deceived. Allah never told that uh, that this salvation thing on the cross I mean this is complete no no problem. Don't, don't, don't go there don't go there don't change topic see you are the one who said to me that Jesus is salvation this is your term and this is your yeah, it, it, don't, don't talk, yeah, don't talk. Yeah, just, yeah. Wait, just, just, just wait just salvation. wait just wait let me finish my, my point and then you are saying to us that Allah he deceived the Jews but isn't it you who said to me just like Pharaoh hold on isn't it you who said to me that Allah he sent Jesus to the Jews yeah okay so Allah if he sent Jesus to the Jews he sent Jesus to these Jews to deceive them or to guide them no to deceive them because Jews planned planned against Jesus so Allah he did not send Jesus to the Jews to guide them he sent the Jesus to deceive the Jews Allah sent all the prophets to guide the Jews, but because of the Jewish plans, Allah okay. So did Allah his plan send? Okay, let us go. Let us go from zero. When Allah He sent Jesus to the Jews, did He send Him to guide them or to deceive them? Now, in, that's why I'm telling that the initial plan of Allah was to guide the Jews, but okay. then later. Hold on. So hey, are you saying you to me? Are you saying to me that the, Allah He was not aware that the Jews they will not be guided? He do not know. Uh, this is a human perspective of telling if you read no, this Genesis not, I'm, not to, I'm not talking about a human perspective. No, no, don't don't go there. You're an Ahmadiyya, aren't you? No, 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 okay. I'm not. An so what do you think about the Ahmadiyya? Do you think he is a prophet? Ahmad Oh, they were they are infidels. Okay, they hold are on. Not okay. And, and you are an infidel too, and we'll prove it in a second. Hold on. So when Allah he sent Jesus to the Jews, don't he knew that the Jews will kill him or try to kill him? Do he knew or not? Okay. If you talk about his hyper okay. knowledge, then yeah. Jesus, he come with the book. It's called Injil. Is that correct? 
Yes. Okay. What the word Injil mean? Good news. In which language? Good news in Greek. Greek. So how also Jesus, he was sent to the Jews. Okay. How Jesus was sent to the Jews, but yet his book is in a Greek. Uh, because Greek was one type of international language like today's English. Mm -hmm. And that's why. Okay, hold on. But your Quran says that Allah, he never sent any prophet unless he speak the language of his people. Yeah, Jews okay. also spoke Greek. If you read Acts, Book okay. of Acts. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. It says, Bilisani qawmihi. Lisani qawmihi is the language of the people, not languages they speak. It have to be their language, their tongue. And this is in chapter 14, verse number four. Read it for us. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm telling that Jews spoke Greek. My friend, my friend, the Jews who they are living in Arabia, they, they speak a Greek? No, you have a misunderstanding. Okay, no, I'm asking you. Jesus. Okay, if Allah is, so did Allah send his book to the Greek or he sent it to the Jews? No, no. Jesus spoke in Aramaic, but later his apostles in Matthew. No problem. Matthew. Allah, did he send his book in Hebrew okay. or he sent it in the Greek language? In Greek, okay, where, is, there was where no we can find the book? So, guys, re remember this: Allah He sent His book to the to the Jews in Greek language. Where you yeah, get this? The Injil, okay, the hold on, hold on. No, 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 my friend. What, what, just wait, wait. Where we can find the reference for that? That Allah He sent His book to the. No, no, we do not have any reference in the. So, what you are saying that to me? Where you, where you get this from? Where you get this from? We don't have like all reference in the Quran. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. So, where you give me your answer from? You, the answer have to come from somewhere, unless you are claiming to be God and you know everything. Yeah, yeah, where your yeah. answer no, is coming from? No, no, no. History, from history. No, history. I'm not God. Okay, which history? God which history you Muslims approve? Do you approve the history? Or you approve what Muhammad said because everything Muhammad he said is against history. As an example, let me ask you: What is the name of the grandfather of uh, uh, Isa, in according to Islam? Grandfather of Isa. Jesus. Yeah. Imran. Amran. But isn't it this is the grand? Isn't it this is the father of Moses? Yeah, but there is a typology in the Quran, like from Musa and Jesus. There's what? Type typology. Uh, you know that uh, Jesus, the sister of uh, Mary, the sister of okay, so, Aaron. So is 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 Jesus the? Uh, is, I, I I saw this in the commentary. All right, I'm asking you: Is is Moses is the uncle of Isa? No. Okay. So how how Mary she became the daughter of Amran, who is the father of Moses? This is a typology language. This is what. Even if Christian community they use this type of type of no no we don't have we don't have first of all first of all first of all uh, Mary Listen, she is not even from the tribe Mary she is not even from the tribe of Moses so how Mary she became the sister of Aaron and how the father name of Mary changed as long you are a person who is familiar with the Bible what is the name what is the name of the mother the father of Mary what is the name hold on you are the one who says to me you have evidence from history okay according to history what is the father? Who is the father of Mary? Who is the father of Virgin Mary? Yes. Joachim. Okay. According so who is Amran? You are the one who told me Amran. Isn't it you who said to me her father is Amran? This is it. Like in Roman Catholicism, Mary is called the what daughter Roman of Zion. What Roman Catholicism? Don't, don't play games with me. There's, <laughs> there's two fathers, either father-in-law, like the woman she married, the one who the father of her husband, this is her father too, father-in-law. Or real father so neither of them his name is Omran Omran in the Quran is the guy who is married to the mother of Mary do you agree Jesus in the Bible he said he's the son of David he my was friend the don't go there what this is what this have to do yeah, with yeah, topic? This is the same oh, logic. no no it's this the is not the same logic this is not the same logic the name he is the guy the listen listen don't play games who is the one who is the one who slept with the mother of Jesus who is the one no one this was a miracle. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about who is the father of uh, Jesus now. I'm asking you, who is the one who stepped with the mother of the mother of Jesus? Not, not, not Mary, the, her mother, the mother of Mary. Who is the one who stepped with her? Mother. Yeah. Saint Anne. 
Saint Annie and Saint My friend, who is, the, who is the one who is the husband of the mother of Jesus? Husband of the mother of Jesus? The mother of the mother of Jesus. The mother of the, which means the mother, grandmother. Joachim, Joachim, Joachim. Who? Okay, so how, how, what, what the Quran says, who is the one who is married to the mother of the mother of Jesus? Quran doesn't say that, like, like. Are you sure? You're confusing, like, Jesus was no, no. playing. Are you sure? I'm asking you, are you sure? Say yes. Are you sure the Quran does not say that? Quran does not say. My friend, like what I, I, all, all what I'm asking you, are you sure? Either you say yes, I'm sure, or you say I am an ignorant. Please talk, teach me. What I know, which verse are you trying to tell me? I am not asking you. Either you say yes, or I say no. So I'm asking you, according to the Quran, who is the husband of the mother of the mother of Jesus? Imran. So what you said to me, it doesn't say that. But because you misunderstood the concept, that's why. Hold on, hold on. I asked you, who is the father of Mary? You said you were king, according to you, right? According to history. No, no. Okay, according. So, is that history correct? You are the one who says we learn from history. So, which one you approve, the Quran or the history? No, no. Imran was not the husband of Saint Anne or the father of Virgin Mary. It okay. was a typological language. Okay. Just like this claim. Okay. From, the son from, of David. And from where you get uh, this, uh, in, like interpretation, my friend? This was. Yeah, I I read this in the commentary. I saved in. Who Ibn Kathir he said that give me the verse number so we can read the commentary Ibn Kathir then all other commentaries okay in the no Quran. I'm asking you where in the commentary of Ibn Kathir it says what verse now I can't remember like you I mean I my friend here that. we are speaking of Which? reference we don't speak without reference here we go this is the Quran and whoever said that to you is an idiot read with me carefully do you know how to read okay do you know how to read? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Read for me the verse. If you remember when the wife of Imran said, Oh my Lord, I have vowed okay. to you what is in my womb. She is who? She is the wife of Imran, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what is the wife of... which? In which language the wife of Imran does not mean the wife of Imran? In Semitic language. That is a stupid of you to say, my friend. It says the wife of Amran. That is, that's mean. It's not the wife of Amran. Jesus also said he was the Look at this, guys. The verse saying the wife of Amran. Okay, what if we go right now, me and you, and we read the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, and everybody will laugh that you are lying to us, and you said Ibn Kathir, he said that. Listen. Listen, 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 do. listen. I'm asking you. If we go right now to Ibn Kathir, are we going to find what you said, or you are a liar? But you know that don't tell me but don't but me that. don't but me I'm asking you if we go to Ibn Kathir my friend I'm speaking to you nicely if we go I'm to not Ibn, sure. uh, don't, are you a second ago you were sure I asked you where you said Ibn Kathir I asked you where your this is from I just no 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 you so you are lying you are lying my friend you are everybody heard you saying you heard that from Ibn Kathir interpretation it's a misunderstanding. no this is not but misunderstanding you, you said that and this is Ibn Kathir and you are a liar you have to admit that you are a liar Logical liar. So it is a mistake in the Quran. Remember, you agreed. You are the one who agreed that there is no way that the father of uh, uh, the, the 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 Mary, the mother of Jesus, her father is Amran. Then you can you explain why? Did you, did you agree? Did you agree with that? Did you did you agree with that? Did you agree with that? Yes, you mm -hmm. agreed, right? Okay. Now the Quran yeah, yeah. and the interpretation confirm that the father of Mary is Amran. No. What do you mean now? This is Semitic language. This okay, show me where it, here we go. This, this is Ibn Kathir. Show me where it says that. Jesus. Here we go. No, no. The wife, Kathir, the wife of Amran. Listen carefully. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir, okay. the one you are hiding behind his back. The wife of Amran mentioned here is the mother of Mary. I mean, how clear we can make it more? Yeah. Okay, so why are you are lying? So it's not a Semitic language as you claim, as, a, as you lie to us. So she is the wife of Amran, and the father of Musa's is Amran too, correct? Yeah. Okay, here we explain then how Muhammad, he said that Mary is the sister, I am, the I, sis, I the sister listen, this, Mary is the sister of Aaron. 
So now the yeah, idea yeah. became clear. So Mary, she is the sister of Aaron because Aaron, his father is Amran. Yeah. Okay. So I this mean, is the, so this is a mistake. In the, this is a mistake in the Quran. It's, it's obvious. No mistake in the Ibn Kathir, not in the Quran. My friend, the Quran is saying this is the wife. She is the wife of Amran. The Quran is saying that. What's wrong with you? Look at the Bible. My friend, don't let me look at the Bible. Don't look at the Bible. You, you, you Muslims, you don't have an idea about the Bible. You copy paste. Does the Quran say clearly with the clear words in Arabic? Why the call it Imra to Imran, Imran, Rabbi, Imra to Imran, Imra to Imran. Do you know Arabic? No, no. I okay, don't. I'm so what Imra, okay, in your language, whatever you have, what translation you are reading? English. Okay, what translation you read? English. I know I, what the translation I, you read. What who is the translator? What which translator you accept? Oh, a various translator, Yusuf Ali or Okay, this is Yusuf Ali anyway. As long as you are asking for Yusuf Ali, this is Yusuf Ali. Have fun. Okay. Yusuf Ali is saying, let me be sure that this is Yusuf Ali. Uh this is Hali Khan actually. Let us go to Yusuf Ali just to be sure. No, no, you is... can do your translation. I no I no no no. I will do it as you wish. Show me one one person agree with you. Otherwise, you are lying to us. Just to cover the mistake in the Quran, the horrible mistake in the Quran. <laughs> yes, horrible mistake. You are the one saying that this is a, that, so you agreed, you agreed. First of all, you, it's you. You agreed that the father of Mary is not, um, uh, no, is that, not the father of Mary you, you is so not Amran. Listen, listen. Women of listen, did you agree with me it or not that the say. father of Mary, the real father of Mary is not Amran? Did you agree with me or not? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so how the Quran here says that this is her father, his name is Amran. No, that look at the Yusuf Ali translation. It says, My that friend, this is Yusuf Ali translation. This is Yusuf Ali translation. It says, Behold, oh, the women of uh, of Imran, the women of Imran said, Oh, my Lord, I dictate into thee. It doesn't say that wife of Imran. It says that. It says, The women of Imran. Who is the women of Imran? My women is my wife, my friend. Actually, you know the interpretation my friend i showed you the interpretation okay this is my challenge to you show me one interpretation I agree with your statement that Amran is not the father of maryam the mother of jesus can you show me one interpretation I agree with you challenge you know what i will shave my i will shave, I will, I will shave my 20 foot beard if you can show me one interpretation do so say that yeah it's a challenge here we go no, 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 it's a challenge. Okay. Here we go. You are my hero. I showed you the first interpretation. You know what? I'm willing to show you. I'm willing to show you as many interpretation as you wish. What do you think about that? I will open for you an Islamic website. Have all the interpretation you can imagine in the Islamic library. Let me talk. Let me talk. No, you I have can... to give me interpretation. Agree with your lies. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, you I... have to say I was lying to you. That doesn't say that. I'm fabricator. I fabricate things. Yes. And okay. this is a habit for us okay. as a Muslim. So either you Quran's... say... Either you say okay, I'm okay, fabricating, I'm either you say I'm a fabricator like my prophet Muhammad, or you have to tell me the interpretation would you say, because you are the one who mentioned that you did read okay, that okay. in the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. We open Ibn Kathir, we could not find that. Ibn Kathir says clearly that this is the wife of Amran. Quran says that. Uh, Imran give, me, was, uh, give me the interpretation. Stop playing games. What interpretation? What, okay. in, what, what, what interpretation you want to give me, my friend? I, I have only one interpretation. Which one? About that. Which one? Which one? Which one? Of which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, where is the interpretation coming from? What is the name of the interpretation? No, there is no, interp there is no interpretation about. So you um, are lying to us. No, there is interpretation. Here but we go. All of them. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Read everybody and laugh at this guy, the liar, who he thinks he have knowledge, trying to cover the big mistake in the Quran. Because the Miriam, there's a true story, by the Absolutely. way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid your, your, your prophet. You're a prophet. He heard from the Jews that Aaron, he have a sister. Her name is Miriam. And this is correct. In the Old Testament, there is a woman. Her name is Miriam. She is the sister of Moses and sister of Aaron. So Muhammad the fool, he thought that this is the same, the same woman. He thought that Miriam is the daughter of Omran and she is the sister of Aaron. So he, he he attached Mary to Amran, which is the father, yeah. which is which you're is the right. father of Moses. At this point, uh, now read yeah, with me, read yeah. with me. This is a Jalalain. This is a Jalalain. Listen, listen, listen. You're right at this. Point. Okay, I, I'm right at this point or not? 
because in the seventh century, sixth uh, and seventh. My century, friend, don't Muslims tell me seven centuries. I'm not talking about even the sister of Aaron. I'm talking about how Mary she became the daughter of Amran. In the front of you, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. Tafsir al Jalalain. Mentioning when from the seven, wife. The, read, 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 read. This is a the wife of Imran. Okay, the, yeah, the wife of Imran. Okay, okay now the wife of Imran. She is the mother of Jesus. Okay, I want to ask you how this mistake happened. How the father of uh, of Moses became the husband of the of the mother of Mary. Okay, okay. actually, uh, the apostles of Prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. they denied the history that Mary, the father of Virgin Mary, was not Joachim but Imran. They made up this history so I have to they made up history so you are saying to me that the disciple of Muhammad you are saying the apostle of Muhammad they are a bunch of liars you are saying maybe there's a bunch of hadiths about like apostles but my friend this is Quran what's wrong with you it says the one who is Allah is talking is not it's not even Muhammad supposedly Allah is saying the women of Imran she said the, the women of Imran who is he who is she she is the mother of Jesus uh, of, of Miriam. So why you keep saying to me, maybe the disciple will lie. So look what you did. You just agreed. You just agreed that Muhammad companion, they are a bunch of liars and maybe they fabricate that in the Hadith. But by doing that, you prove that this is absolutely false because Islam is false because the Quran is the one saying that not the disciples of Muhammad. Actually, they misinterpreted the Quran. My friend, the Quran saying the women of Imran, you give me interpretation. It says the women of Imran. Since when, if somebody says the women of Imran, he didn't mean that she is the women of Imran. The guy, he cannot have kids. The story is there. And his wife, she said, I'm going to designate this child will come to me to be for you, God. Who is the one who did that? The women of Imran. You tell me what does that mean? The same thing, it, it is a Semitic language that Jesus said, the son of David, my friend, this son of the, David, the son, of, son of David, my friend, because by birth, Jesus, he goes all the way to David, Mary, she have nothing to do with Musa, she is not going all the way to David, they are from different tribe, even in this case, it doesn't work, didn't you read that they are not, they are not from the same, in gospel of Luke? listen, they are not gospel from the same Luke? tribe, listen, listen, I'm going to give you a chance, so this is a mistake, I'm going to ask you, yeah. Can you give me one thing to prove to me it's time to be true? Yeah, the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad. He, like what? This is the biggest. The I mean, in Surah Seven, verse one fifty-seven, it claims that Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Torah and Injil. This is the prophecy of Muhammad. Ch I mean, the prophecy about Prophet chapter. Muhammad. No, no, no. Um, give me, give me. First of all, that is funny of you to say because the Quran says that uh, the, uh, Jesus will say, Isa will say, there's a prophet who comes after me. His name is Ahmed, correct? Yeah. Okay. What is the name of your prophet? I'm not referring to that because the, we know that I'm asking you, what is the name so, of your prophet? What is the name of your prophet? Muhammad Ahmed. So his name oh. is Muhammad or Ahmed? Is Ahmed is a name or a title? Is Muhammad a name or a title? Name and also title. Okay, so how we have many names? What does that mean? Did his mom she call him Ahmad or call him Muhammad? Both. We do not call him actually Ahmad. Uh -huh. But so why Muhammad. he is saying that he why he called him Ahmad? What does that mean? To relate to that Paracletos, like Paracletos in the John Paracletos is a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? The Paracletus will stay with us forever. He will never die. And he is a spirit. Is your prophet a spirit? Yeah, Prophet Muhammad spirit. Spirits don't die. Spirit. They either go to heaven or So Muhammad hell. is a spirit. He is not a human. He is a spirit and also a flesh. Huh? Okay, so the, there it says that this is a Ruhul Qudus. He is the spirit. And then are you saying to me that Muhammad is the Holy Spirit? No, he's not the Holy Spirit. Well, you are quoting Holy for Spirit. me ever saying this is the it's Holy Spirit because Gabriel. because they are the verses you are quoting for me is about the Holy Spirit. So it have to be holy. It have to be spirit. Now, is your prophet holy? Yes. How then come? He's Holy Spirit. Then how come? Okay, I want you to read this for me. Then okay, hold on. As long the prophet Muhammad is holy, how come the Quran says, "May Allah forgive your past sin and the one to come"? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean, yeah? How Allah will forgive 
the past sin of somebody have no sinner, no, no sin. You just said he is not a sinner. Is he a sinner? No, I didn't say he, once is, that is he, he a sinner or he is not? Is he a sinner or not? Um, yeah, he's kind of. So how you call him holy? Like I mean, how you are a sinner and you are holy? I mean, are you crazy people? The second you call him holy, it's mean he have no sin. Sin sinner doesn't mean that he has to be unholy all the time because ah, so Allah Muhammad forgave. temporarily holy. Muhammad is sometime holy, sometime filthy. He was a man. He so why you call sin. him holy? Because Allah forgave. What, what do you mean forgive? Voice. But it says in the past, and the one in the, it doesn't say even Allah. It says forgive. It says may Allah forgive. How Allah is God? He says may. Secondly, it says the one in the past and the one to come. So how he is holy, but he would do a, he did in the past and he would do to come. Prophet Muhammad suffered in his life very severely. This is not a question. I suffered too. I suffered too, my friend. Punishment was what this had, what does have to do with my topic? All people suffer. Have you ever heard a human being don't suffer? Stop playing playing games. I'm asking you now. How he is holy, yet he commits sin in the past, and he will commit okay, sin okay. in the future. That, he, so, Christian concept of holy is sinless. That is Jesus. But in most Islamic concepts, all the prophets were holy. So, is so Allah holy? It. Is Allah holy the same as Muhammad? He is sometimes no, 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 no. Then you cannot use the word holy. Yeah, I can. Choose, okay, can you show me one 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 statement in the Quran where it says Muhammad was holy? No, I'm not a Hafiz, but I am sure there is. No, there is not. I'm and here we go. I just showed you this, the opposite. Yeah. It says okay, listen, it listen. I'm going to go back to zero. All what okay. you said to me, it turned to be false and stupid, and people are laughing. So I'm going to give you a chance. I will repeat my question. Can you give me something, one thing, prove that Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet? Anything. Choose, of your, choose the best. Can you prove to me in any way? Yeah, I can give you many. Give me one. Give me one for now. Give me one. One by one. <laughs> like in Isaiah 42. Uh, don't give me the Bible. The, the, do, you, do you Muslims agree with the Bible? Yeah, some part I have to agree. Oh, uh, sometime. Okay, what Isaiah said? What Isaiah? Isaiah 42. Isaiah prophesied about Prophet Muhammad. Isaiah 42? So okay. Uh, what, what Isaiah 42 saying? Read for us. Uh, uh, okay, read for us Isaiah 42. What Isaiah 42 says? Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one hmm. in whom I delight. Hmm. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. Hmm. So he, the, in the first two verses... No, read, read, says, read. Continue, please. continue reading because you will see that people will laugh at you in two seconds. Read, continue reading. Yeah. Or only, or those only the only two verses you copy from the website. Okay, he will not shout or cry out or raise his okay, voice. Okay, Muhammad his shout music. Allahu Akbar and when he attack his enemies? Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't mean All right, continue. That. Continue the verse after it. A bruised reed, he will not break, and a smoldering wick, okay. he will did not Muhammad, snuff did, out. Did Muhammad cut a trees and burn them? But he saved also. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. See, we are going with the, You are saying this one is about him, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, first of all, first, first, first of all, first, first of all, first of all, first, first of all, do you agree that Muhammad burned trees and cut the trees of those who he hate? Yes or no? For cooking, yes, obviously. Not for, for cooking. cooking. What cooking? What this? What, what this cooking? What this have to do with cooking? He is just doing that as revenge. Yes or no? Yes, he used trees. No, read palm. carefully. Ibn Umar narrated the messenger of Allah burned the palm trees of Bani Nudair and he cut it down. The verse you quote for me, it says he will not even cut the branch of a tree, correct? Yeah. All right. You have to understand this is prophetic, but this is verse is not. No problem. No problem. Okay. Now the prophet. Now the, I am highlighting. Hold, hold on, you are highlighting for me how 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 silly it is. Yeah. Now let me ask you: In Isaiah number forty-two, does it say uh, something about the spirit? Yeah. Okay. Do Allah have a spirit? I will, I will put my spirit on him. Okay. Do Allah have a spirit? Yes. Obviously. Where where we get this from? Where? 
Allah, the spirit is Allah, eternal. Allah has, no, is, Allah has no spirit. Allah is not a spirit, and He has no spirit. Don't you know that? Yeah, Allah has a spirit. Where do you get this from? You know what? I will shave my 100 foot beard. It's growing now. If you can show me one Islamic scholar or teaching agree with you that Allah has a spirit. That's why Allah breathed that spirit. Don't tell me. Adam. Don't tell me that's why. Show me where you get this from. Show me where Allah, where you get this from, that Allah has a spirit, according as I know. Any Muslim who believe that Allah has a spirit is not a Muslim. Yeah, obviously. Allah has a spirit. Where obviously you are saying to me, obviously, where you get this from? In the Quran, everywhere it says that show me Allah one. has a spirit. Show me one where it and says Allah, Allah has a spirit. spirit. No problem, no problem. See, I'm, not, I'm not against you, my friend. I'm just uh, trying to to uh, 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 to learn from you how you Muslims understand yeah, your false I, God. I remember okay. so, in Surah Insan. It says that Allah breathed his spirit to Adam. Thank you very much. And also, so guys, Allah he breathed. Uh, uh, okay. Allah he breathed his spirit into Adam. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now this let is me the ask Quran. you. So how you Muslim you say that Allah has no spirit? If I, I show you right that. now, if I show you yeah. that all Muslims agree that Allah has no spirit and he is not a spirit, what you would do? No, there is a difference between Allah is a spirit and Allah has no spirit. Okay, so I'm asking you, no, Allah has no spirit, neither he is a spirit. This is what I'm saying, both of them. The Quran is saying that Allah breathed his spirit. Well, this is this is, not, this is what Islam teaching. Allah, Islam is, is a book of contradiction, that's what I'm saying. So, do Allah has a spirit or not? No, actually, you are separating My Allah friend, I am not like separating. Here we go. This is your Islamic fatwa website. Fatwa number five zero seven seven four. It says he Look, he Islamic is debating. Listen, 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 listen. He is debating with the Christians, asking, "Does God have a spirit?" Oh, okay. Now I get it. Okay. So now what, I get it. What the because answer? Because they try to deny, like, like this complexity in the Quran. Okay. Let me ask you. So Allah, He has a spirit. Is Allah one or two now? One. Okay, how he's one, but he have a spirit. Allah is the same as the spirit, or the so spirit is different person. We are not, because we are not separating the spirit from Allah. No the problem. Spirit is so, inside of but, but you said Allah, He has a spirit. That's mean it's additional to Allah. So Allah and His spirit, correct? Or Allah is a spirit. Allah and His spirit. Okay. That's why Isaiah forty-two. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Did you hear this? This, this is very important. What this uh, 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 gentleman said. He said Allah. And his, in the Quran. Let you me, let didn't me, read uh, any friend, translation. This is in the Quran. Let me explain what you said. Allah, let us type in uh, in different colors so people can see in the screen. And you then you explain to us more so because people, they are really happy from what you are saying. Especially me. I'm very happy with you. Thank you for calling me. So Allah and his spirit. This is what you said. Do you agree? Oh, you are highlighting that end, like they are two separate beings. My like, friend. Don't, okay. Don't do then. That. Then is Allah is a, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. No. Okay. So that's mean it's two. As long as you are saying Allah is not the spirit, that's mean Allah and His spirit. Like I have, a, I have a spirit. That doesn't mean I. My am friend, a, don't stop playing I, games. Okay. I just said to you, either you say yes, yes, or no, no. Is Allah is a spirit? Yes or no? Yeah, yes. He's a spirit? Yeah, that's what the Quran says and also in Isaiah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A second ago you said to me Allah is not a spirit. What happened? Allah is not a spirit. Allah has Okay, a... so Allah he is not a spirit. Allah he has a spirit. As long as it's yeah. not Allah is not a spirit, so we cannot consider them one. They have to be two percent at least. Maybe one God, yes, but not one person because you are the one who said to not me. highlight that persons like two persons. Okay, when persons, you say so Allah, Allah, He has a spirit. And I asked you, you said Allah is yeah, not yeah. that a spirit. Yes. Allah is not Allah that is a spirit. Not. So how many person we have? I do not. Actually, I do not want to go to that person who would like it. It's Why you don't go? Sheep. How come you want to go to Christianity about it's Allah being sheep. one? Oh, no, don't, 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 don't play games. So is Allah is the same spirit? You said no. So now we have a spirit, and we have Allah. 
Are they one person or two person? I do not understand this person. Why are you bringing that person? You are the one who brought it. I asked you because you mentioned person. Isaiah. Isaiah says that God is spirit. God is spirit. Listen, okay. okay. So God Listen. is spirit. Is, I, this is why God I ask you, do your God, Allah has a spirit. You said uh, he has a spirit, but yes. he is not a spirit. My God, okay, my God, God is a spirit. My God is a spirit. When, so, so listen, listen. So when you Muslim, you copy the Bible and you are claiming that you have knowledge in the Bible. Did you it ever see? Let me ask you. Bible. Have you ever heard? Have you ever heard of verses in the Bible saying that God is a spirit? Yeah, John four twenty four. I know. Okay, that. God is a spirit. So how Allah is not a spirit? So obviously the God of the Bible is not the same as the God of Islam. I do not believe that. The this is not up you. You are the one who's quoting for me the Bible. As long as you are quoting the Bible, you have to believe in I what in the Bible. Quoting. Okay. So I am not quoting. Okay, let us go. I'm no. Not. So what you are saying to me, Isaiah, speaking about him, you quote for me a verse. You believe in it? Did you believe in it? You said you believe in something. Agree. So Isaiah forty-two. It says God, Spirit. Yeah, yeah. This I'll is my okay. So this is the he Spirit said. of God. This is God Himself. If you go from the book of Gen from the beginning, it says God He created the whole earth and the heaven, and then what happened? That God he, His Spirit was above the water, above the surface. So Look, Allah, God uh, your God Allah, your God Allah is not a spirit, and He, according to you, He have a spirit. But Muslims they say no, which is absolutely you have a different religion now. I don't know Muslims what. say that Allah doesn't have His spirit. Here we go. He's Here we go. The Here we go. Here we go. I'm not the one who's making things up. Here we go. It says that the spirit is or a soul is not one of the attribute of Allah. Rather, it is one of the things that have been created by Allah. Do you see it? No, it, then if this photo is actually not true because Allah cannot okay, show create me a Adam fatwa, agree, show, Okay, show me one Muslim in the world agree with you that Allah has a spirit. Because we Muslims do not talk about this not kind only of because no, you talk, you talk, no, you talk. You have tons of books, and you, you know the Al Khomeini. He says the Muslim Sunni they have the biggest library of bathroom, because all of your books speaking about the the the, the, the private part only. and down. So listen, I want you to don't tell me we don't have you don't talk. You know you talk. I can you show me one person in the whole Islamic uh, cult agree with you that Allah has a spirit? Okay, every Muslims will agree with me. If there is no Christian, because if we say in front of no, you Muslim don't like, agree with the Muslim. I'm not asking you agree with the Christian. Now I'm asking you if there is one Muslim no, agree with you as a Muslim, you 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 yeah. as a Muslim. If there is one Muslim yeah, agree they, with you as a Muslim that Allah has a spirit, can you show me the name of the scholar? Everyone will agree with me because, but they will not. Nobody agree with you. You are a liar. So you are saying to me that the Muslims don't agree. They, they okay, agree with no, you, but no, they, don't. they will not agree in front of a Christian because <laughs> ah, a Christian they will. Ah, Muslims have the Muslims have two faces. In the front of me, they will not agree, but in in the backyard, they will agree. So you are a bunch of liars, then. This is not lying. This is taqiyah. You know nothing ah, about. Ah, taqiyah. What taqiyah? Explain to me. What is taqiyah? Like we can tell lies. Okay, so you are lying about okay, guys. Listen carefully. So you are saying to me, you as a Muslim, you are allowed to lie about your God to me as a Christian. You lie about your God. So you say to me, he have a he has a spirit. Lie about? Yeah, you are lying to me. You said you lie. You are allowed to lie to me. You are allowed to lie to me about your God. I'm asking about your God. Like if you just. Uh, if you just take and put a hidden camera in a mosque and then uh, send a Muslim to ask about the spirit of Allah, yeah, they will explain this very plainly. But in front of Christians, we do not use this type of terms. That's why Muslims, okay. they so have in the to mosque, deny. So you are saying to me that we Muslims, we have double standard, two faces. Not double standard. The, you are completely misunderstanding. My friend, aren't you the one who said to me we lie? Things. Okay, listen. Taqiyya. Aren't you the one who says to me we use taqiyya and we lie? We are allowed to lie. Did you say that word or me? Paul also used taqiyya. Okay. You are criticizing. I'm asking you. Paul. Did you say we are allowed to lie? Did you say that or I'm I'm, I'm making things up? Yeah, this is okay. all over so the Quran. So you are I lying guess. to me all over the Quran, guys. Did you say it all over the Quran? So you are saying to me that we Muslims, when we talk to each other, we have different answers from the one we give it to the Christians because when we talk to the Christians, we lie to them. Correct. Yeah, but this doesn't consider as a lie. Because ah, okay, no problem, guys. He lied to us, but this is not considered as a lie because Allah He encouraged them to lie to us. I mean, do you see how amazing this religion is? 
So Allah, he encouraged the Muslim to lie to Christians this when the when a, when a Christian, is Isaiah No, listen, listen, listen. So you, you just said that when I ask you about Islam, you are allowed to lie to me because Allah encouraged you to lie to me because it's not considered to you as a lie. This but yet you are lying. lying. This is not lying. In my religion, this is not lying. My, my friend, but you are the one who says to me, we are allowed to lie. So you are saying, according to Allah, is not a lie to lie, correct? Yeah, obviously. Okay, thank you. you, know you. Hear this. Thank you very I'm much. I'm not making this up. Okay, so so now any question I ask you, you are allowed to lie to me when you give me the answer. I'm not lying to you now. No, 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 you no. Know How I know you are you are the one who just said to me, We are Muslims, we are we are allowed to do this to you, and Allah does not even consider it as a lie. What you what he allow, he allowed to lie. So you are saying to me Obviously you have to establish the truth. <laughs> Okay, Obviously. but how you can establish the truth if you just say to me that we Muslims we are allowed to lie to we the Christians? Will use plain, we will use plain language, but like there is only one. This God, is not what you say. No, you said to me. You, no, you said to me. We, you know, we are allowed to lie, and we, this is why the Muslims. Yeah, they will we not are allowed to lie. Okay. If you, so if you just do so not, now, if I ask you, go, okay, if if I ask you, if I ask you any question about your God, and I'm asking you about your God, you are allowed to lie to me. So how we will find the truth? I'm not lying to you. Okay, you know you it. did. You did. You did. You said to me that Allah has a spirit. I said to you, they give me one Muslim and agree with you. You said to me that uh, uh, they will the not. Quran do agrees that. with me. Huh? The, our prophet agrees with us. The Quran agrees with me. The Quran Allah agrees. Has a okay. Okay. So, uh, but you said Allah has a has a spirit, but He is not a spirit. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Allah so I ask you. Being. So listen, listen. So is Allah is a being and the spirit is a being, or it is one being? No, 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 no. one being. Okay, but I, but I ask you, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. Yeah. So how he can be one being if he is not the spirit? Because if he is the spirit, how can he sent the spirit? How can he breathe that spirit? Okay, guys, he, he, if he is the spirit, how you answer me, don't tell me, don't ask me the question. I'm asking you if you are saying to me, Allah has the spirit and Allah is not the spirit. Okay, so is the spirit created? Is the spirit of Allah created? Allah can create that spirit. And this is not the question. This is not the question. The spirit of Allah. No, no, it's the the Quran doesn't say anything that I'm asking you, you, you. It's your belief, it's your religion. No, no, no. This would be a blasphemy to say that. To say what? Spirit is created. Okay. So the spirit of Allah isn't created. Is Allah created? No. Okay. Allah so now we have. Spirit. So now we have is two it? uncreated. So we have two uncreated being, and the spirit is not Allah, and Allah is not the Listen, spirit. As long as Allah exists. The spirit exists. This so is not the question. This, this is not the question. Are they both created or they are not created? You are saying no. No, 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 no. Eternal. They are the spirit and Allah. Okay. Allah's so now let us, Allah. let us let us do this. We have Allah is not a created Allah. Let us, yes. let us let us let us type it here in the screen so people they will follow with us. So Allah plus the spirit. Anything else is not a created why Islam. You, why are you writing plus? Because is, they are not one person. You are the one who said to me. Why? I, I asked you, is Allah the spirit? You said no. You should write capital S. This is an insult to the spirit. You later, you can change it, fix it for me. For now. So if there is anything else beside Allah and the spirit are not created. Yeah. What is that? No, we do not think like that. I'm asking you if there is something else beside Allah and the Spirit are not created. What is that the Quran? What about the Quran? Quran is eternal and it Thank is you very preserved much. in the food. Quran is not a created. So look what we have now. We have a three, three separated, and yet they are not created. How that can be? Allah, the Spirit, and His Word. They are not one. Not only Quran, but also the Torah. The no word, problem. Okay, the Word, the word, of, the word Allah. of Allah. The Word of Allah, no problem. The Word of Allah. Okay. The Word of Allah is not a creator. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it Jesus the Word of Allah? Yeah, but He 
Okay, but you just I said mean, the word of Allah is decreated. Everybody heard you. No, but you are misrepresenting My the friend, word. Isn't of it Jesus. you? No, isn't it you who said to me the word of Allah is not created? Did you say that? Or no, what? no. Jesus was not the word of Allah. He is a word of Allah. No, my friend. No, he is the word of Allah. I read in the Quran. Okay, Rashmi, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me he is a word. He is not the word. Yes. Okay. But isn't it the word of Allah is the word of Allah anyway? Yeah. Okay. So Jesus is the word of Allah anyway. Is not a created. Jesus was created by the word. Hold on. No, he was the word. He wasn't created by the word. He is the word. How he is created by the word? Where it says that? It says that the Messiah is the word of God, which bestowed in Mary, and he is a messenger, and he is a spirit proceeding from him. And you are the one who said to me, you like a uh, Yusuf Ali translation. So he is the word of God before he became a man, correct? Yeah, before okay. Jesus' body so is not. When Jesus was the word of God, he was created or not? There is no such thing as a concept that Jesus was eternal. This Quran is not the question. Says that this is not Jesus, the question. Was Jesus was the word at only. that moment. Who created the word? No one created the word. So, the word is so eternal. Allah, so Allah cannot be the one who created Jesus because that word was Jesus. The Quran says so. But we Muslims do not don't believe tell me but, that because the don't Quran... Don't but me. Listen, he was the word and you agreed. And you agreed to that the word of Allah never been created. So Jesus was the word. So he is exist by himself. Have nothing to do with Allah. So Jesus previously for his appearance Jesus, to us. Jesus came in the womb of Mary. No problem. This is when he is born as a human being. But before he became a human, he was what? He was the word. Do you agree? The word of the word of Allah. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you agree that the word of Allah is not created. Do you agree? Yeah, the Quran doesn't so say that the, the Messiah was the was the any created before he listen, was born. Now look listen, at this. Okay, let, 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 but ho focus me. So Allah plus the Spirit plus the Quran, three of them, three are not created. Who is the oh, one? No, not Quran. The word. The word. No problem, word. The, guys. The word. The word. Okay. So Allah, I will change it for you just to make you happy. Okay. Allah and the word are and the Spirit of Allah. Are not created. Do you agree not with that? Singular, not plural. You are using plural pronoun. Doesn't matter. Allah and the Spirit and the Word are not created. Yes. Okay. So they are equal, are they? Equal in what sense? Because they are not created. Yeah, they are equal in creation. Like in the creation of Adam, it was both the word of God no, 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 and no, no, the spirit no, no. of God. The word itself yeah, is yeah. not created. The word of uh, itself is no, not no, created. No, no, the word itself is not created. The word itself is the creator of Adam. Thank uh, you. Look, when so Allah the creator of that, Adam is the word, is not Allah? Yeah, Allah, word and spirit. I okay. like but you Allah cannot is not the one. Okay, but Allah is not the one who created the word, correct? No, okay. the word so is eternal. The creator, you just said, and very important thing, you just said, that the creator, we will put the letter C next to it, is the word, not Allah, because the creation happened by the word, not by Allah. And the word itself is not created by Allah. So the word itself is God by itself, for it can create and do not need neither the spirit of Allah or Allah himself. We do not say the word is God. We say the word. I don't is care God. what you say, but your philosophy proving that because as long you are saying to me that the word is exist by itself and never been created, that means there's Allah or there's no Allah. It doesn't matter. The word itself is God, for God is the word and the word is God. Who is the one who created Adam? You said to me the word. Okay. Who created Not only the, word? the word? Allah, the word, Allah through His word and His spirit. My friend, how you say how you say His word when the word is not from Him, is not created by Him? How this is His word? Allah's word. Okay, but how this is His word if it's not created by Him? 
no, I'm not saying uh, the world is created by Allah. It okay. exists. That's what I'm saying. Within if this Allah, is not the world the of, Allah, of Allah. Okay. If this world is not created by Allah, so how you say His? Because the word belongs to Allah. How it belongs to Allah if it's not created by Allah? Because everything is created by the word. Allah cannot create. This is not a question. The word the itself is not Listen, created by Allah. Allah. Cannot, our, our friend, focus, Allah, focus. Allah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. If you say to me, let us say, let us make it something physical. Okay. If you say my phone, you say my phone. Okay. And this yeah. phone is not made by me. Okay. If I ask you now, is this word owned by Allah as a property or it is independent and it exists by itself? Is it owned by Allah? No, we do not say that. Thank owned you. By Allah. So it's not owned by Allah. Guys, take one. It's not owned by Allah. Okay. Is it created by Allah? No. So Allah has nothing to do with it. Yeah, obviously. Listen, as long as Allah My friend, exists, you just the said it's not owned by Allah. It is not created by Allah. So what it have to do with Allah? Nothing. You are actually just, uh, you are going too deep and philosophical. Uh -huh. actually, so listen. Islam is a stupid cult. The second you go deep, Islam go, go mult. Islam go, go, go bold, lose all the hair why? and get naked. This is that. why you are trying to get away from it. So the second we go deep in Islam, we find Islam is a stupid. Now we can, because now we have a three divine. We have the world, which is not created. We have the spirit which is not created, and we have Allah which is not created. So you yeah. Muslims, you believe in the Trinity. Allah, listen. Okay. Allah now listen, don't tell me. Listen, listen. How you say earth. three and a created, but the, you are claiming that you worship one God, and the one who created you is the Word, not even Allah. So you should worship the Word. How can you worship the Word? Well, is I mean, it the one? Is it the Word? Okay. Oh, hold, hold on. Is it the, I, I, let the me, Word? Let me explain to you how you can worship the Word, because according to your logic. That the one who created everything is the word. That's mean Allah is not the creator, and the word itself is not created by Allah. So Allah is just individual, exists by himself, no problem. The spirit exists by itself, no problem, and the word exists by itself, no problem. But the only one who created anything, according to your belief, is the word. You can okay. If you worship, if you want to worship the word, you are actually worshiping Allah. Okay, my friend, I I, I, I cannot stay longer. Okay, you can call me maybe next time. You are welcome. Uh, but as you see, guys, this is how silly this cult. But this gentleman, he said many things important that Muslims we are allowed to lie to you, and this is why you Christian, you should be very careful when you listen to Muslims. The the he said clearly with the clear words. I hope everybody will cut this conversation and put it everywhere that we Muslims are allowed to lie to you, and this is not considered Islam as a lie. So everything he says to me now, it's possible to be just a lie trying to defend because he just said that. And now we, when we get deep, he don't want to go deep. Why? Because deep will, will, like, will show you right away how silly this cult. As long as you don't go in details, it's fine. It's okay. You know, Allah is God. But if you go in details, you will see that Allah is no one. He did not even create his words. And the word is the one who is the creator. And Allah, according to him, he is a spirit. But by the way, according to Islam, Allah has no spirit. This is a lie. So this is either a mistake from him or a lie. Either it's a lie to defend, just to make Isaiah look fit with Muhammad, just to make it a propaganda thing, or he is telling the truth, and that's mean he believes truly that Allah has, has a spirit. But either way, that is will prove in Islam to be false. Look, because now we have a three uncreated divine, eternal. What is the eternal mean? The one is exist by itself. Those are exist by themselves. Allah plus the spirit plus the word. Where the word is coming from? Not from Allah. Where the spirit is coming from? Not from Allah. Neither of them is coming from anyone. That's mean there are three separated divine, not one. Not like in Christianity, we say three person, one God. In Islam, they have a three person and they are totally separated. So when a Muslim he says that the word is the word of Allah, that is a stupid to say because as you see, the word has nothing to do with Allah. It's not created by Allah. It exists before, without Allah exists, or is it, Allah exists or not? The word is, is there. So how you say this is the word of Allah? So it's very easy to prove Islam to be funny and a stupid cult. 
just ask some deep questions and you know I was trying to give him a chance uh, uh, to give me one you know what I'm going to give you one one more call because I have to go you know I have things to do but maybe I will give him one more call because each time I say to him can you give me one thing to prove Muhammad to be a prophet look what he do he go and say I will show you from Isaiah I will show you uh, G, uh, the Quran says uh, Jesus said should I call him maybe or, or leave it for tomorrow maybe maybe tomorrow you can call me tomorrow mr. Khan as long as you are here subscribe to our channel and maybe you can think about something very powerful next time you call me and show me one proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God but you know what I'm going to give you one more chance I will call you I can't resist the temptation <clears throat> Khan. Hello. Yeah, my friend, I don't have really much time left to talk to you, but I want to ask you one more thing just to give you a chance to prove to me it's time to be true. Can you give me one thing, prove to those Christians? But I want to ask you one. Mute, mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Okay, okay. Yeah. I did. It. Can you give me one thing, solid, something solid? Have nothing to do with the Christians say the Bible says something have to do with Islam. How you can prove to me that Allah is God or Muhammad is a prophet? Choose anything, but choose something very strong. The scientific miracles in the Quran. Like what? Give me one. Like Quran mentions the Big Bang. Where, where in the Big Bang it says in the Quran? In Surah Anbiya chapter thirty. Okay, read it for us, please. Okay, wait. Like, like this is undisputable. You can deny that. Mm, no problem. Nobody can deny it. Correct. Yeah. So guys, Mr. Khan, he is going to show us the Big Bang in the Quran. I have it in the screen. You can look at the screen. Okay. Okay. Can I read it? Go ahead. Have not those who disbelieve known that the heavens and earth were joined together as one united piece, hmm. and then we parted them. Hmm. Here's the big bang, and when we have what, made what is, what is, well, how, how is that is the big man? I don't understand. What is the big band said? Like all matter were joined together. No, in one no it doesn't say that. No, point. it doesn't say that. No, it says that nothing was there. The big band exploded, ha explosion yeah, happened, but there's nothing. There was no earth, there was no heaven, correct? No, this is poetic. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you. When, before the Big Bang, there was there was a sky and a space and Earth, or no? No, no, nothing, okay. nothing, nothing. But here it says the opposite. It says here, don't the believers, don't the disbelievers know or see actually? Alam Yara in Arabic it says Yara. Don't they see that the heaven and the earth were joined together? So there was heaven and there was earth, and Allah He separated them from each other. Yes. Okay, but this is stupid because this is we are not separated from the heaven. We are inside the heaven Isn't it the earth is swimming in the space like a dust No, Quran is saying that the earth and heaven these two are separated my friend there was there was earth and there was heaven The verse is so clear and we can show you the interpretation of every Kathir if you want so there was earth and there was heaven and then Allah, he left up the heaven from the earth. That's what it says. Do you agree with that or you agree with the Big Bang? No, I agree with Big Bang. But this is against the Big Bang because it says there is earth and there is heaven and Allah, he left up the heaven. Don't you know that the Quran says that Allah, he made the yeah, sky? Allah say, yeah, Allah created in six periods and then Allah ascended up what, to heaven. What six period? Where, where in the Quran six period? I mean six periods or six days if you No, it that. says six days. Now let us see. Does it say or does it say in the chapter fifty two that Allah he left up the sky? He left yeah, up yeah. the sky. I know that. Okay. Allah left the sky up from where? From the earth. Okay, that's mean the earth and the sky. They were attached together and Allah separated them. Is that accurate? Yeah. How is that accurate? We are inside the yeah, space. Yeah, this is what the what you, what the heavens mean? and the earth. What do you mean? No, we're joined together. Okay, but see, but this is not what the Big Bang saying. The Big Bang saying that we are now. 
according to this is a theory by the way the big bang is not a scientific fact it's a theory and we as a christian are rejected yeah. only for uh, uh, if you if you if i ask you right now which one allah created first the earth or the sky he created simultaneously everything where it says that like, <clears throat> that verse it says that allah created those two were joined together and are separated no, where it's no this it doesn't say it's, it's at the same time it says this is about separating them where it's mentioned the creation which one created first well i do not remember that verse but it says that allah created on the first day like you have which which uh which, was, which verse which verse where i do not remember that verse I okay let me ask remember, you but I read according it. to the big bang the stars was a crea uh, created before the earth or the earth be long after the stars no, the stars were created before, like some billions years before the Earth. Okay. So Earth came from the sun. That's wonderful. So, guys, the stars came long after. I mean, the the, the Earth came long after the stars. You agree on that? According to yeah. you? Okay. Yeah, the Big Bang says that. All right. Okay. Thank you. So here in the chapter forty-one, it says that the last thing Allah created after He finished the whole Earth, it was the stars. Where? Chapter 41, read with me. You can read it from verse number 9. The first thing he created, he created the earth in two days. And then he placed in the top of them, in the top of the earth, rising mountains. And then he put in the, in the earth all the sustenance, which means the water, the grass, the trees. And then after that, then after that, he turned to the heaven. And then it was a smoke. There was nothing empty and then verse number 12 he made the heaven seven skies and he put lamps in those skies so you are the one who's coming to me with the big bang but according to allah the first to create it was the earth and the last to create is the stars what do you think no actually the modern muslims ap apologists they Explain that earth is not the earth in the Quran. It is the matter. Ah, like matter. It's not. No, it is the earth and the Quran, my friend. Here we go. You see, I got I got something more powerful than your apost. That was those who they are explaining to you, the liars who they are making articles these days. Because your Quran, your your prophet, he spoke about that. Here we go. Not only you said to me six period of time, right? Is, is it six period or six days? Yeah, yeah. I believe it is six periods. Okay, so six days. Is, is six days is wrong? Is six days is wrong? Yeah, six days. Is, is six days is wrong? It's wrong. Okay, so guys, six days is wrong. Here we go. This is your prophet saying, Allah no, accepted. Days can mean huh? periods also. No, no, no. Days no, 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 no. You said six days is wrong. You, already you said that. Allah they accepted the grace, so created the clay on Saturday. And he created the mountains on Sunday. Oh, this is, this is, I'm huh? Okay. No, no, okay. Go on. Okay. I know this. So, what is the first thing Allah created? It was the clay. And then he created the mountains. And this is exactly what it says in the Quran. He created the earth in two days. And he put the mountains. And then he created whatever trees, etc. Read with me carefully. And then he says he created uh, the entire labor in Tuesday, created the light in Wednesday. And he caused the animals to spread in Tuesday, and he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Not only it's a Friday, it's afternoon. Yeah, I know this. I know this hadith, and okay, do I you, saw. Do you know, agree with this hadith, or you don't? Actually, this is. I have to say, this is Sahih hadith. Okay, so do you agree with it or uh, not? This I, is the question. Do you agree with it or not? Actually, I saw in a blog in Apple. Don't tell me I saw, my friend. Just give me the answer. Do you agree with it or not? No, I have to disagree with you have to disagree. Sentence. Okay, but aren't you the one who said to me in the beginning that the Big Bang saying that the stars are created first and then the earth are created after and Then when yeah. we showed you that from the Quran what you said that some Muslim they say that there is talking about different earth where, where where do you get this from the different earth? Like matter not different earth. The matter, no, it says all... you see the Arabic is so clear. It says the mountains it says what, what are you talking about? I mean what matter? It says he no, created is, the earth in two days. Okay, where Allah he placed the mountains in this matter. The verse in the Quran no, says, Allah, it, uh, my friend, Allah he placed sorry. mountains in the top of where? In the top of the earth or in the top of the matter? 
earth okay so what you are saying it's a matter not earth that's why i'm saying that i have to disagree with this hadith and many muslims disagree with this, but this hadith is an agreement with this here okay let me let me ask you so allah who created the earth first in the quran and then the sky after doesn't matter what it is doesn't matter what you are saying it says in arabic here clearly that allah he made the mountains in the top of that earth and the word here in arabic it says ard so don't tell me matter Arabic is so okay. clear. Allah, He can use the, the word matter, right? Yeah, yeah, he can okay, say. Okay. So, if you uh, read the Surah Anbiya verse thirty, it says Earth. Okay, I believe. Okay. In that verse, it was talking about matter, but in the next verse, it is talking about the description ah, of the Earth. Ah, right. this verse is speaking about matter. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, but here it and says. And the next verse. Okay. Okay. So that matter have mountains Did, in it. Didn't you listen My to Zach and Naik? He also said hey brother, that. Brother, I die laughing at Zach and Naik every day. He is the most stupid idiot ever. What are you talking about? Zach and Naik okay, then, Yes, that, the, he's an official uh, stupid. Zach and Naik, you do not know anything about Islam. Can you tell me how Zach and Naik explained this to me? Go ahead. Zach and Naik said that uh, in Big Bang, the matter and space all were joined together. Mm. And something happened. This is the power of Allah. Yeah. And that's why he said that. Okay, but I ask you, but I ask you, hold on, hold on. You see, I will, I will go with Zach and Naik's stupidity. Aren't you the one who said to me that the stars are exist before the earth? Yes, this okay. is what the big bang So look, says. read with me carefully. The matter here is what is created is the matter, all right? In two days. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And Allah, he called it the earth. Yeah, this okay. is the description of earth. How the matter is the earth? That's why I said that in Surah 21, Surah Ambiya, in that verse, verse 30, it was talking about matter. And verse 31, My friend, where it was is talking the word about matter earth. here? It says that the earth and the heaven. Oh, doesn't say that, does it say the word matter or says the word earth? Does it earth, say? Earth. The no, it says earth. No, it says earth. Earth. Okay. Earth. So why are you lying saying this is it says matter? Because we have to interpret in the light of Big Bang. Ah, so now the holy book of Islam is the Big Bang and the Quran have to fit with the Big Bang. So we change the Quran to make it fit. But the verse is so clear in front of us. It says, وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا رَوَاسِي And then it says, read carefully with me. هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ It is Allah who created them. I don't understand them. Arabic. Who? I don't understand Arabic. This I is not my business. This is not my business. Okay, let me ask you. According to the Quran, did Allah created the matter first or the stars first? The stars were included in the matters. Uh -huh. But the other verse saying the opposite. That's why I'm saying that in verse 30, the same word earth is using that is matter and verse 31 okay. is talking about. I want you to give me the name earth. of the idiot who says that the word earth mean matter. Can you give me his name? The scholar, no, 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 it doesn't say that the earth means okay. matter. So, all the scholars agree that this is the earth, this is nothing else. Okay, if you want to talk about the uh, scholars of that uh, Ibn Kathir or Zalalan, they did not have any concept of Big Bang, that's why they interpreted. Uh, earth. So, when the Big Bang come, but, we may try to make the make a Quran fit with the Big Bang, we forget about Ibn Kathir. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's good. That's a good thing, by the way, because now Muslims they are changing their book. Their holy book became the Big Bang of the atheist. Now, let me ask you. Okay. Change. So, but but the Big Bang doesn't say that God created anything. It says an explosion. So, does the Quran say there's an explosion, or the verse you are saying to me? It says that Allah separated them. Separated what? The earth and the heaven. What the heaven means? So, no, we we do not believe that. The natural cause of Big Bang that something happened. Just we believe in the divine. No problem. Thing that Allah. But is it is it saying is it saying that Allah He separated the earth and the heaven? Correct or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is the earth separated from the heaven? You said to me. You are the one who said to me that the word earth mean matter. Correct. Yes. Okay. By the Big Bang. Okay, is, hold on, verse, hold on. Everybody will die laughing at you. Is the big if the Big Bang is the matter which is explode. How it says that Allah separated the matter from the heavens? Is it the matter who became the is it the matter who became the heaven in the Big Bang? No, the 
if you what what is the big bang that, hold on hold on you see you are very confused kid let me ask you hold on make it simple isn't the big bang is based that the matter explode there's a matter explode yeah the explosion of okay all so the when this matter explode this matter stayed is, is it is it is it staying the matter or it is became everything around us no from big bang everything came out all right but here it says that the earth and the heaven and it says not only that it says don't the disbelievers see which means something they see with their eyes not something happened in the past don't they see that Allah separated the earth from the heaven does it say that in the verse yeah okay so how this is about the big bang something we never saw if he said don't you see Yeah, don't you see? That doesn't mean that, uh, like Allah. He was talking to the Arab. At the, at, he was talking to the Arab at the seventh centuries, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he how was talking. Will, about, how they will see that about, unless yeah. it is visual? Are you saying to me, Allah, he used the wrong word? How they will see su such a thing unless? No, this is poetic. This is poetic. In Quran, it, it says that don't the disbelievers see that? This is poetic. Hmm. This is what? Miracle of poetic, the miracle of Allah. What poetry? I, I say to you, don't you see? I mean, this is stupid. If I say to you, don't you see? And that's something I cannot see, that's stupid to say. Secondly, it yeah, says it here, let, yeah, let me show you, let, let me show you how stupid what you are saying. My friend, I feel sorry for you. It says, don't you see? Don't you see? In Arabic, it says, Alam Yara. If we change the translator, you will see it says, Alam Yara. Don't they see? So okay. he is saying to them, don't you see? It's something they can see. Okay, okay. That's if the interpretation. Hold on, 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 hold on. Just wait, just wait. Uh, if you are saying to me the earth was the matter, it says here, don't the unbelievers see? The heaven and the earth were joined together and between two brackets as a unit of one creation, of a creation. Before we cleave yeah. ascender. Okay, let me ask you. So when this earth was a matter and this matter explodes, that's mean the word earth doesn't exist no more. No, the earth did not exist at the time of Big Bang. So why is going at the earth? That's why I'm telling that in verse 30. Okay, let me ask you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me. I mean, I'm just doing with you, honestly. I feel I want to jump from the sixth floor because of your stupidity. With my respect to you, but I have to say this is stupid. Because the Quran say earth, you say a matter. So we say goat, you say a chicken. The Quran used the word earth. You say matter. I can't say that. No, no, hold on, hold on. Let, let me ask you. Okay. Now, Allah, he created, according to your theory, I will go with you. The stars first or the matters first? Stars. Before the matter? I thought the matter is the no, big bang. No. Oh, matter. Yeah. Matter. matter. Okay. Matter. And the matter appear as the word earth. Do you agree? Huh? Yeah, the matter is the word. Earth. Right. So after. Okay. What if I show you in different verse that Allah is saying that the first thing He created was the stars, before the matter. What you would do now? Are you going to jump from the top of the high mountain? Read carefully with me. Chapter seventy nine, oh. verse number twenty seven. And what are ye more difficult to create? The heaven above. He has constructed. He left, he left it up, he make it high, and this is why it says, Rafa'a samkuha fasawa. He left it up high because this is a fiction that the earth, the earth was, the, the sky was in the top of the earth, and then God, he left it up and he put the mountains. It's called the mountain of Qaf. And if we go to chapter Qaf, we will see it. I will show you. Now, here it says, So Allah, he created the heaven, and then he raised up the sky, raised it up where? In the top of the earth. Now, then he says, so now we have a day and night. This is number three. Then he made, and then after that, not more over in Arabic, it says, What does that mean? And the earth after that, he made it flat. So if the earth is the matter, the matter was a flattened after the heaven was totally created. And then in this verse, this is not matter, this is earth. Ah, okay. No, no, guys, no problem. It is not matter, it's earth. It's up to him. He decides which earth issue is not. But here we have a problem because that's mean 
that Allah He finished the stars first, and the other verses saying the last thing Allah He finished it was the star. Remember the verses we showed you before. It says that Allah He created the trees, He made the rivers, and He made everything ready, and He put the mountains in the top of the matter. You call it matter, huh? So the earth will not shake on you. And then after that, we see in this chapter that Allah. He created the stars first, which means in totally, in totally opposite direction. Don't you see that Allah, He created the matter? I will go with you. It's not the earth. I see. I'm, I'm agreeing with you now, just to make you happy. In two days. And then He put things in the top of the matter in no, two no, days. Listen, listen. What Allah, what is the mountain Allah, He placed in the top of the matter in the four days? Explain to us. You said the matter, the matter is the Big Bang. It says here, it uh, uh, the, the, the earth, Allah he created in two days and then he placed mountains he made hills he put a trees all of those in four days do you agree that the trees exist before the skies exist no but this is what the verse saying so Allah created the earth you claim this is the matter and then he says in the top of the earth I made mountains and I clean all the substance which is the water the trees the grass etc this is talking about the creation of the earth are you an idiot or what? You are the one who says to me this one is speaking about the matter. You change your mind now? So actually, only one verse it is talking about matter. That which, which Big one? Bang verse. Which one? 30. Which one? Uh, Surah Ambiya, verse thirty. Okay, I will go with you guys. This one is about the earth. Be my witness, because later he will change his mind. So chapter forty-one. Here we go. I will take a snapshot. Okay, this chapter forty-one. It says that Allah He created the earth first and the stars at the end. Do you agree with it? But you are saying that in seventy nine Allah. Hold on, the hold stars on! Don't don't go! Don't go! Don't, don't change! Don't change! Don't change! Don't change! You are the one who said, and I remember very well. You said the stars are created first. Yes or no? Yeah, according to Big Bang. Yes. No problem. But this chapter in front of us, chapter forty one, verse number nine, ten, eleven, twelve saying that the order was as the following and you are the one who agreed now this this is not the matter this is the earth remember you are the one who agreed yes so the earth was yes, created yes. in two days and then mountains and grass and trees in four days and then he went yes. to heaven after that and then he made them seven heavens and then after that the last thing he created the stars but you are the one who says where is it that it's where is it that the last things it says in the front of you read it read it which verse Verse number 12. Okay, then he ordered in the seven heavens into this inspired. He decked the night heavens. Is this talking about stars? Yes, like lamps, 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 yes, lamps. Was I in the Sama Adunya be Masabiha? And we made we decorated the lowest heaven with lamps. Yo, then this is talking about the earth and then the stars yes. after the earth. Yes, thank you. But you said, you said that the truth is the stars was the first so to create it. I did not read this creation account. That's why I read Don't only tell me don't read. Now you, did, now you did read it. Now you did. And you did agree. And everybody heard you that the correct thing yeah, is, yeah, is the Big Bang. Okay. I agreed that the so, stars were created first before. But this is saying the stars are created at the end. But this is saying the stars were created. I'm not saying that. Before? The Quran is saying that. The Quran is saying the stars is the last thing to be created according to chapter 41, verse number 12. So do you agree that this is a big mistake? Actually, you should debate Dr. Zaki Naik. My friend, I, 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 my friend don't, don't, don't make me use a bad word. What's the Quran? I'm asking you, what's wrong with you? Are you saying to me that your brain is in the butt of Zakir Naik? You cannot say one word without saying Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is a dumb idiot. He does not know what he's talking about. And I prove it many times. Can you give me the answer? You give should give me the answer. No problem. Give me the answer according to Zakir Naik. Okay, then according to... Then we have to reject the Big Bang Theory. Otherwise, Quran you have, have to, to reject the Big Bang Theory. It was the Big Bang Theory, correct? Now the Big Bang Theory, after speaking to Christian Prince for 15 minutes, it's a big mistake. Now, but it's not a problem now. We have a bigger problem. We have a big problem. Because now, as long as oh, you agree in that the Big Bang... Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. As long as you agree that the Big Bang is not there, forget about it. 
That's mean the earth is not the there's not that matter no more. The earth is an earth, and that's mean we go back now. We will find the other chapter saying the opposite because in the other chapter, this is chapter 41. In chapter 79, it says the opposite that Allah yes, created first. Hold on, the chapter chapter 79, it says Allah created which one first? Listen, listen, I have to write down the verses 41 12. Okay, now you can go to the next one. Okay, chapter 79. You agreed, you agreed that the, the, the big man is a big joke now. Okay, that's good. Now, 79, okay. chapter 79, Allah saying that Allah created the heaven first, and then he built this heaven, seven heavens, he gave it order night and day, and then he gave it the lights, which mean the lamps, etc. And then after that, he started working in the earth, and then after that, he created the trees and the water. And after that, he put the mountains. But this is totally different order from the other chapter in chapter 41. In chapter 41, it was the earth first, and then the trees, and then the, and the mountains, and the substance, and then the, the sky was a, was, was, was a smoke. And then after that, Allah, he created the lamps. Here, it says totally the opposite. The first Allah, he created the sky, he made the sky seven skies. He built it all, and he made he gave it the light, which means the lamps. He gave it its order, and then after that, read carefully. And after that, he spread the earth. He made it flat, and after that, he gave it water, and after that, he made the mountains. This is totally the opposite contradiction. He spread the earth. My friend, that's, doesn't matter. The first one saying say Allah that. finished the earth. No, it says that he, he made it flat. This is anyway, he, he spread, he made it flat. That will not change. But in Arabic, it says, well, Ardu ba da dalika da ha ha da ha ha means Zakir Naik said that this is ostrich egg shape. My friend, Zakir like Naik is a donkey. Do you want me to show you what the ha ha means from the dictionary? Da ha ha means I do not believe the ha, -ha My friend, means spread. No, the ha ha does not mean an orchard Oh, This guy is a donkey. He copied that from a YouTube. A kid is 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 nineteen years old. He made that video, and then every donkey in the world start copying, including Zakir Naik. And let me get you get your Zakir Naik busted in two seconds. I will open an Islamic dictionary, and you will see that the word the ha ha mean flat. He made it flat. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. I will put it for you in the screen. Give me a second. I will open the dictionary, Islamic dictionary, not Christian dictionary. Yeah. And I will I will pause the word the ha, ha Here we go. And here we go. What the ha, ha mean? Here we go. This is the dictionary. This is Al Ma'ani dictionary, which is an Islamic dictionary. Can you read what the dictionary is saying? The word of the Quran. It's a word from the Quran. Ma'anaha, he stretched it or he spread it. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. And this is why all Islamic interpretation and translation, none of them says he make it like a like a ball, as Zakir Naik saying to you, or like an egg. Did you ask yourself? None of the, tr the translator he did not say the word egg. Why? Why? Because Zakir Naik is a donkey. He copied a video from YouTube and he adopted and he start repeating the same thing. But the word the ha ha, we can go to Ibn Kathir right now. Do you want me to show you Ibn Kathir? Do you want me to show you Jalalain? No, no, I trust you. Okay. No, no, no don't I, trust, I trust me. You. Don't trust anyone, my friend. Don't trust anyone. Never trust anyone. Trust only the truth. Search for the truth. Don't be stupid. So you can search for it and you will find that this is absolutely a big fat lie. So Allah, he made this the earth flat. And Allah, he finished the heaven first. And after he finished all everything in the heaven, as we see in chapter 79, then he worked in the earth and he made it flat, as you see. After that, uh, do you know what you see the word after? Even this Islamic translation saying after that. And here you see, he said, spread the earth. Do you see this is your translation? Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, why the Muslim did not say he made it egg, as Zakir Naik said? Because Zakir Naik thinks he's a scientist. No, like because Zakir Naik is a, is, a, is a diarrhea guy. He's a liar. He is not a scholar. He's a potato. He's making fun of you. He, he want to take your money. So Zachariah, sorry, Zakir Naik, he said this is an egg. And I can show you the video. Actually, the one who made this video is to refute me. He's a 19 years old, old kid. He called me once. It's a kid who made that video. And then after that, all Muslims, they start copying and pasting the video because they are ignorant. 
No, not even a single one Arab in the world. You will agree that the word the ha ha mean egg, as you see. So the problem here now that according to this chapter, chapter seventy nine, Allah He finished the sky, He complete the sky. So now we have day, we have night, we have stars, we have dark, as you see. And then yeah. after that, He start working in the earth, and then after that, He put the mountains, and He put the water, and so here the and he and then he made the, the 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 animals, but this is totally the opposite of the order appear in chapter forty one. So which one of them is the accurate one? Obviously, Allah cannot be God, because he cannot remember even which one he created first. Read carefully, chapter forty one. It says Allah he created the earth in two days. And then he put all the, the mountains in the top of it and the sustenance, which means water, trees, etc. And then after that, thumma, and then he turned to the heaven. And by the way, the word thumma in Arabic, there's a guy, he is a Muslim teacher. He he, he, he teach. You can search about the meaning of thumma. Thumma in Arabic means after but long period goes, after long period. Thumma, and then after that, after a long period, he turned to the heaven and he, he it was a smoke, which means was was nothing. But this is totally oh, what it means your point is that in one surah it is talking about first earth was created and the stars, but in another surah, stars were created first and then, then the earth. Let me make it more simple for you. One chapter saying Allah created all the earth and the substance, the trees, the water, etc. first, and then the stars at the end. And that was a chapter, as you see, chapter 41. And then the other chapter saying the opposite, a chapter 79. Allah created first the the uh, uh, the sky he finished all and everything in the sky including the lamps the seven skies because Quran yeah. claimed there are seven skies and after he finished everything in the sky and he made the dark and the night which means the sun the day the night etc for the earth you know and this is how it's supposed to be the creation of Allah and then after that he spread the earth a Muslim might say to you well the earth was created before the heaven this is what they will say by the way I can tell you from now what they will say, but this will be stupid too. Because what do you mean? How you can create the earth if there is no space for it, and the space is the heaven? Secondly, and after that he spread the earth. Let us say the earth was exist, but Allah now he start walking in the earth. But look what happened. According to this, the stars are finished before he start walking in anything in the earth. And the other verse saying that Allah finish all is in the earth. Trees, mountains, etc., and then the sky was still a smoke. In the stars. But this is the opposite, my friend. This is can't be from God. You are smarter than this. Are you a fool who follows like a nag just because like you're like a chicken? Follow your mommy. Doesn't matter what who's your mommy, even if it's a cat. The chicken when he's go 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 out from the from the uh, egg, anything walk around, he think this is his mo his mother. Anything, even if it's a cat, will eat him. Are you going to do that? It's, isn't it obvious? After all the explanation for you, there's no way God will not remember which one he created first, the trees first or the stars. As simple as that. No. Actually, I did not think about this stuff. Okay, think now. You are an adult. You are not a kid. Isn't it clear for you? So why do you want to stay as a Muslim? There's no way even the Quran says if this book is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction. Yes. Okay. So Allah he says he, that. All right. So Allah He gave us the, the, the correct way to find if this is a book from God. How this can be a book from God? God who don't remember which one he created first. Yeah, I have to think about that. You have some good points because this is I cannot change in one night. Like, Why not? We can change in I one night. To... If if you discover that this is false and this is a this is a false prophet, you change in one because night. Because I Why don't not? want to burn in hell. I mean, well, you are you burning in hell see. anyway. You are following a false prophet. We just to prove it to you. What's wrong with you? You are following a prophet. He he claimed that he have a god, yet he don't remember which one he created first, and it's in the front of your eyes. And even if you take it and you study it for the coming 10 years, they try to give you explanation, try to defend, but it will not work. It's it's obvious. 
you should leave Islam right now because you might go to sleep right now and you never wake up and you are following a false prophet you are scaring me I'm not scaring you this is the, 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 the fact is scary my friend you are following a false prophet And you okay, what if I leave Islam? I mean, I I have to become an atheist. I mean, no, this no for me, I will invite you to be a Christian, but say, agree, I leave Islam, and I will be happy to explain to you the Bible. I have a Bible, but I do not read. This is not the so problem. Now, let us uh, let us first true. agree to leave what is called. I don't want you to be Christian unless you are convinced too, because maybe Christians are not a true belief. You never know. So we want to we want to check it out one by one. So first. As long as we reach an agreement, me and you, that obviously this is a true contradiction, cannot be from God. So Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. So why you don't want to say I am I am out of Islam? Okay, I say, but what? Okay, next? thank God, glory to the Lord. Here we go. Our friend here, Mr. Khan, he decided to leave Islam after all of this. You know, trying. He thought Islam is a wonderful. Islam is a great religion. It turned to be Islam is a false cult. Thank you, Mr. Khan. I'm I am happy for you. Now, I invite you to believe in the Messiah as Lord, as Savior. Do you want to know why? Why? Okay. Do you agree with me that the Messiah did nothing wrong? He's holy? Yes, I Do you agree that the Messiah, he can resurrect people from death? Yeah. Do you agree that the Messiah, he can create from the mud the bird? Yeah. Which means he's a creator? Okay. What is left a Messiah cannot do? If he can even tell you what you hide in your houses, and he is holy. Actually, I have very, very bad confusion that how can God die if you say? Well, who said, my, my friend, who said to you that God die? You see the flesh of every. Some, okay, let me let, let, let me let me explain to you. Let's make you also. When we say that Jesus die, we are talking about the flesh. Yes. Jesus said. You destroy this temple and I will build it for you in three days. He was talking about his body. The Jews, they thought he's talking about the temple. All right. So you destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. And the three days is symbolic for the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So Jesus said, nobody can take myself. I lay down myself by myself. Nobody can take, nobody can force me. So when we say that Jesus died, this is the flesh. Otherwise, Jesus is exists before his birth. And actually, we were talking about it, right? We said Jesus is the word of God. So before he come in, in John chapter one, it says in the beginning, it was the word it, and the word was with God and the word was the God. So he is the God who was the word before he became a flesh of a man. So the flesh of the man have nothing to do with the existence of Jesus. Jesus said to the Jews before Abraham, I am was born. I am. Yeah, okay. I know that. So verse. they said to him, they said to him, well, how he how, are you like, is this guy is crazy? How, how you are not even 50 years old and you say before Abraham so the existence of the Messiah have nothing to do with his birth so after birth they killed what they killed the flesh of the birth but the Messiah Their is body it? yes the correct Jesus so body. What, but the Messiah is existence and you agree right he was exist before Abraham yeah that's mean his existence have nothing to do still his exist they just killed the flesh so they killed the flesh and the Messiah he resurrected the flesh so Jesus the Messiah, he is dead by the flesh, but he is living as a living God. This is why he says, you destroy this temple and I will build it for you in three days. Yeah, in John 2, I also read that. You destroy right. this temple. So what do you want more? We have a holy name, powerful, glor you know, everything glorify him. Nobody can speak against him. He taught amazing love, amazing wisdom. Go and read. It looked like you, you did read enough of the Bible. You have all the speeches of Jesus. We cannot compare it with the Quran. Quran is just a yeah, yeah. silly book. So why you want to accept Jesus? I read the Jesus? whole Gospel of John. I read that. All right. Just for information. So my friend, so why you will not accept Jesus? Do you believe in Isaiah fifty? I know Isaiah fifty is talking about the coming Messiah. My friend, I believe in every. I believe in every word in the Bible. This is not that. not, this is not that a question. I'm Jews, asking you. I'm asking you. Do you believe? What do you think about the Messiah? Yeah, I have to. I believed in the Messiah, and okay. Do you now, believe that yeah, he is your Savior? You are the one who said to me that Isa means the Savior or the salvation. Yeah, Jesus means, Yeshua means okay, so the Savior. Okay, so why you will not accept now that the Messiah is your salvation so you can be saved? 
what to do i have to go to church i mean i don't understand My friend, just the, uh, agree with me that he is a salvation and i will help you we can talk in private later uh, uh, and we can go and details what you can do uh, you know accept the messiah as your savior and your salvation and the only way to be saved and you will be saved my friend okay i accept hallelujah yes. glory Save. to the lord our brother khan he is not a abdul no more he is a christian now and he accepted the messiah as lord as savior and my friend khan i welcome you in the name Can of the lord jesus save muhammad because no. i i know he cannot life, no, he I will not save because muhammad, the bible says my friend like the bible him. says the bible says and you know the bible does it say in the bible that the one who is the one the antichrist is the one who denied the father and the son correct so muhammad denied the father and the son and not only that he caused millions and millions to be deceived so muhammad there's no way for forgiveness and not only that the bible says that the one who do insult the holy spirit he will not be forgiven and muhammad because of him there's many people insulting today because of their ignorance because of his teaching the holy spirit he claimed that the holy spirit is jibreel so muhammad will not be forgiven and it's too late to be forgiven anyway because you are dead you see it, it's possible that anyone is can be he forgiven. burning in hell he is burning in hell and he will be in hell and he will be suffer as nobody ever for he deceived hundreds of millions hundreds of millions of people they are deceived by this evil man so my friend I'm so happy for you that you accepted the Messiah as your as your Lord as your Savior and uh, uh, I want you to invite more Muslims to call me and sit and watch and see what what they will come with and you will you, you will see Islam is nothing but a fraud don't and this is my advice to you don't go by what Christian Prince says to you investigate everything you heard anything I said to you today is recorded download the video later check it one by one I am happy that you became a Christian I'm happy that you left Islam but still you have to be smart the, the, yeah I hear you almost every day every episodes wonderful I hear you that's I decided to call you because wonderful my friend I'm so happy that you called. Actually, I'm so happy that I called you again because something inside me I was going to leave actually I hang up on you because I can't take it no more but something inside me said do it I don't know what it is but something forced me to call me back call you back even though I'm losing my patient losing my voice but thank you thank the, you know thanks to the Lord that he made me call you and we have you saved but I want you to stay with us bring more Muslims encourage them to call me encourage the scholars not only the Muslims normal Muslims encourage challenge Zakir Naik this guy who don't dare to get it close to me anyone who have knowledge to call me life on air and don't tell me what the topic just call me say Christian Prince here we go I'm a Muslim I'm a Muhammadan I'm going to beat you up I'm going to show everybody that you know nothing I, I will come anyone to do it and they will never win for a very simple reason if the Lord is with me who could be against me the Lord he says search the books read the books and find the truth and the truth will set you free and he said I am the truth I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am I am who I am I am the life I am the resurrection yeah, I, have to, have I am the way I am the door say, and nobody can I go to the, the Father shepherd. exactly so my friend I'm the good shepherd I my sheep here exactly. my boy he is so good he is so good Ama amazing he is so good I agree with you he's so good so beautiful so my friend Khan uh, I am happy for you uh, keep watching us join us and I think you can you can do good uh, maybe later because you you learn a lot about Islam from what we said and you have a, some background about the Bible that will make it uh, that make it easier for you to accept the Messiah but that will give you advantage to bring more Muslims to Christ so get the blessing of the Lord my friend don't just be somebody who Pray became a Christian me. bring more of the lost sheep to the to the Lord so they can be saved because a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord as the Bible says will be right now because one soul is saved and that is you look at those Christians how happy for you all of us we are happy I'm happy I lost yes. my voice but not 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 for nothing I did not waste my time it was a great time to have you my brother Khan yeah pray for me I will I will my friend and now I have to hang up on you I apologize because really okay. I'm losing my voice and uh, I'm really happy to have you and I mean you see, actually you have too much patience you actually you suffer a lot of insults but you have a lot of patience my, and you have a lot of information and you know Arabic it is your plus point so 
at the end of the this day, my friend, question. thank you. At the end of the so day, my friend, it's a, it's about, you know, we are servants and we take in salt for his glory. The Lord, he says, time will come and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. So not only they will insult me, they will think about killing me if they can. But I understand I will be happy to die for his sake. And I'm not really, this is the last of my worry, insult or death. For we believe that whoever die and believe in the Messiah, he is alive. No death can take us and nobody can kill us because we will have the eternal life by his name. They can kill the flesh. But who said that we are not going to die anyway? All of us, we are walking dead. The, the Bible says, the Lord said, let the dead bury the dead. All of them, they are dead. Even the one who walked be, be, behind the coffin are dead. So dead, death will never make us fear. And that will never make me fear because I would die anyway. You scare me from what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm dead, I'm dead. But I will prefer to die believing in the truth. Being honest and yeah, free. I also have memorized fear him who can kill the body and soul in hell. Matthew 10 28. Thank you. You have a good have memory, actually. You have a very good memory. That's very good for you. So you can help later to bring more Muslims into Christ, my friend. That's very yeah. good. All pray right, for my friend. Me I will pray for you. I will ask all the Christians in front of you. All the Christians pray for our brother Khan. I don't know which country you are from. You don't need to tell, but pray for our brother Khan. Uh, uh, for for more guidance and maybe the Lord he will make him a disciple of his own so he will bring more Muslims to Christ maybe the Lord he chose yeah, I will him today. force my friends to call you they will very become very angry I know but I will try to my call friend, you. let the devil be angry the second you are making the devil angry that's mean you are doing good if the devil is not angry from you that's mean you are in the wrong place so it's a very good sign if you make the devil angry it's not a bad sign actually me myself if there's if the devil is not angry from me it's mean I'm wrong I will not be happy what's wrong with the devil how come he is happy with me so let the devil be unhappy and this is what we are doing here so Khan I have to hang up on you and I will have to say thank you may the Lord okay. bless you and again guys I ask every one of you to pray to our brother here Khan who call us to defend Islam and he end accepting the Messiah as savior the lord is amazing it is not me who made you christian it's no one it's the messiah who opened your eyes as simple as that very happy for you and by the way join join the club of the upper state Millions of people live in this cult and millions will go and will leave Islam soon too Because the internet is a blessing to us so we can reach out to people and all the propaganda those who they are making it paying You know a lot of money TV stations trying to promote the cult of Islam will not work The truth will set you free and the truth is just in the front of our eyes I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you don't forget to download the video when the download is ready. And until we see you again soon, I say, God bless. Forgive me, I have to go. My voice is almost gone. And if you like to learn more, you can read my books. You can find them in Amazon in many languages. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. God bless. Take care.